What's up, everyone? Today I want to introduce to you a relatively new project in the crypto world called IOTA, one that I am particularly really excited about because it has to do with the Internet of Things. Uh, let's dive right in. So back when people were brainstorming use cases for blockchain, one of the areas they targeted was the Internet of Things because that is a fast-growing field in and of itself. Um, and so people thought the IoT can use a ledger too because machines need to communicate with each other, they can trade resources, pay each other, etc. Um, there's also the issue of like security of things, and particularly identity for the machines, and also automating various processes um, in terms of interactions. And so there's a lot of potential for, for um, using blockchain in this realm. But blockchain has some limitations though. For example, blockchains like Bitcoin um, can't have really high transaction throughput. They have really high fees and also mining or doing the proof of work is really resource intensive. And so the IOTA team came up with something new, um, a new structure for a ledger called the Tangle. And I just included a picture right here um, basically these are transactions and they're linked to each other and the thing to take away from this is that it's not a blockchain and so it's actually called a directed acyclic graph and it has no blocks and no chain um, but it's still similar to a blockchain in some ways it's a distributed database and it requires a peer-to-peer -peer network to maintain it it has its own validation consensus mechanism um, to make sure the transactions are right and follow all the rules. And it also uses its own digital asset called the IOTA token. Just a little bit about validation. Um, every transaction references two prior ones. If you remember the, the picture I showed over here, look, they, every one points to two prior ones. Um, and so you, you're basically validating your own subsection when you do validation. Everyone is involved in doing approving transactions, not just a small group of miners. This is a big difference. Um, and a real quick about the process of validation, when you want to do a, val a transaction, take your transaction, you sign it um, just to make sure it's yours, um, and then you randomly choose two unconfirmed transactions that's waiting to be confirmed, and you combine it together, do a proof of work um, for like spam and civil resistance. Once it's done, you broadcast to the network, and then now your transaction is one that's waiting to be kind of collected together with another one and done the same process all over again. So that process goes over and over again. And that's how it works. Um, but a question is, how do I know my transaction is final? Um, and there's like this consensus that it's approved. Well, this um, graphic kind of helps. You have these green ones, which are the fully accepted ones. The red is partially and gray is unconfirmed. And so the question you really need to be asking is how many paths to my transaction from the tip? The tip is this, the end of it. So the green ones, you can trace a path from every single tip to that one. And so you know for sure that it's, a, it's accepted 100% and final. These, the red ones, are not yet um, linked by all of them, but they will once there's more and more. Um, that's like added and um, and ex and done the proof of work for. But you don't necessarily need to wait until everything has a path because it's all about like certainty. If you can find a path for like more than half of them um, to your transaction, that may be good enough for you. That's similar to Bitcoin. If you uh, if you know about the blockchain confirmations, the block confirmations, like if you wait six confirmations, that's really secure. One that might not be secure yet. And so this idea is similar. And so some of the primary features that comes about by using this Tangle is that, first of all, there's no miners, so no transaction fees. That's pretty awesome. Secondly, consensus is done in parallel, so it scales. It's not one by one like a blockchain. Offline transactions are possible because of partitioning. It's quantum secure because it uses a different type of cryptography. And IOTA tokens are pre-mined, so there's a fixed supply. Um, and so if you want to know a little bit more about these, I encourage you to Google them. Um, there's a lot of resources about those. 
So some use cases so far. Um, there's been ongoing case studies in the realm of mobility, energy, smart infrastructure, for example, um, all around the machine economy, which is what the focus is. But even though that's what the team is focused on, that doesn't mean IOTA does, can't excel at other stuff like human-to-human -human payments, like normal cryptocurrencies, or store of value because it's a fixed supply. Just a quick note about denominations. Um, here you see the total amount of IOTAs out there ever, um, but usually they're counted by mega IOTAs, which is a million IOTAs. And that's pretty similar to Bitcoin too, and Ethereum, because they have smaller denominations. Like a Bitcoin can be broken down to a ton of Satoshis. Um, and for Ether, I believe it's the Wei, which is the WEI, which is their smallest denomination. In terms of the team, this is one of their biggest strengths because the founders are all blockchain veterans. Um, they're based in Germany. And they actually came across the idea of IOTA when working on a hardware startup making like a new kind of microprocessor. Um, and they needed a better way to settle transactions um, for those microprocessors talking to each other. And so they decided to start from scratch because normal blockchains wouldn't accomplish their goal. And so that's how they came up with the IOTA. Um, but also they're a bunch of techies, so they're really focused on the tech, not so much on marketing. But that's also promising in my opinion because they're not worried about all the fluff and how the community um, takes it. They'll just um, give a stellar product and that will speak for itself. In terms of progress, they started in 2015, did an ICO already, um, launched the main network in July of 2016. They created a wallet, you can see screenshots right here, for everyone to use. Client libraries for developers who want to develop for the IOTA platform and have managed over um, 2.5 million transactions on the main network as of May 2017. They have a bunch of cool stuff on the roadmap. Um, some usual stuff like support for smart contracts, oracles. They've also come up with a simulation framework to help people simulate like propagation time through the tangle. They are supporting interoperability, like um, being able to talk from IOTA to Ethereum or other technologies, adding a lot more privacy and security features, and a lot more. They have this all on their website, so if you're curious, go look it up over there. They also came up with an ecosystem fund and set aside $2 million um, for people who want to help build out IOTA-related technology um, with testing and just to make this whole um, technology more mature. So just a quick note about the market and the outlook. Um, IOTA got listed on exchanges earlier this year, and um, it already is the number eight overall um, cryptocurrency in, in terms of market cap. It's counted in mega IOTA, so it's counted in one million IOTAs, and each one million IOTA is worth 81 cents at, at this time of filming. And you can see it's after it got listed, it went down for a bit, but this is when everything was going down, so that's not that big of a deal. And now there's steady growth as more and more people find out about it and see all the promise um, of this project. So I'll end with a note on resources. They have a really good Slack channel. Um, I encourage you to go in there and you can ask all the questions your heart desires. And there's a few other ones I linked here. Um, but I hope that was helpful. I'm really excited about IOTA. And I encourage you to look more into it. Um, if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. And definitely click the subscribe button to see more videos coming very soon. Peace out.